Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariah and here on my channel I post lifestyle, university and physiotherapy related content. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and turn that notification button all so you never miss a video. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and that you are waiting for the new year. And because obviously the new year is in a couple of days, I thought it'd be a perfect time to reflect on this current year and set some goals for the new year. Okay, so in my previous New Year's like reflection video, where I did it, it was I kind of gave you like five highlights that I had for the year and then I gave you three words to describe this current year. So I'm going to do the same format but first I'm going to look over the goals that I set for last year. I've got them written down because I knew I'd forget them. So the goals I set for from last year for this year, I said that I wanted growth, I wanted to travel more and I wanted to try and do some more like different content so like lifestyle content for example so in terms of the growth i said i wanted like hair growth channel growth and knowledge growth i think i've achieved all three of them hair growth my hair has grown quite a bit you probably won't see it on the channel i don't take my hair down often most people only see it when i like they're around me and i'm watching my hair i don't typically wear my hair down but um like that channel growth obviously we've gained more subs and i really appreciate that so thank you guys and getting more comments now, but like more on my Instagram than actually on the channel, but like it's growing in that sense. Um, so more people are aware of it. And knowledge wise, I've gained a lot more knowledge, obviously with my masters and just like knowledge of how things work in life. So that's a good thing as well. Traveling more. If it counts me going back and forth from Birmingham on a weekly basis, then yes, I've traveled more. But that wasn't what I meant when I set the goal. I kind of set the goal obviously to go abroad. And at least go abroad once or something before I started the masters but obviously that's not been possible um so that kind of sucks but you know it is what it is hopefully life will do me nice and it will remember the fact that I didn't get to travel a lot now and later on down it'll be like hey girl there's a big window here that you can travel and your future job is going to be willing to let you do that huh? A manifestation you know yeah I'm kind of hoping for that um because not being able to travel is very weird for me like not to sound like obviously I don't care what's happening with other people because I, I do you know, you know what I mean but like yeah it's just very weird not being able to travel and trying new content so I want to do more like lifestyle content I feel like I have done that to an extent I've done more like day in the life stuff I'm, I'm not gonna lie I do find it a bit weird I'm filming outside like I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it, but I do find it a bit weird in certain places, like certain situations, because honestly, like, university to an extent, I don't really care, but most of the time, it's like, I don't like the quality of it filming on my phone, and due to certain circumstances, I was only sticking to filming on my phone, and then like, too many big crowds, but I will get used to it. I think the new camera's gonna help with that, and just slowly easing my way into that will help me with that as well. Um, I was thinking of doing like Q&A's, but I don't think the channel is ready for that. I mean, if you disagree, say it in the comments. But for me, I feel like I will do Q&A's when I get to a point where on the ArrayRay.yt Instagram channel, the Instagram page, when I put out a post on my story asking a question, if I get at least a few more responses, then I'll be willing to do a Q&A. Because so far the responses I get obviously are by people who already know me. And it's kind of just like... I can't really base a Q&A off that, even though I do appreciate the responses. It's kind of just like, if you want to know more, you've got to ask for more type thing. So for now, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Um, and just more like trying to let you guys get to know me. But again, it's only how much you kind of give. I do want to get away from just giving like tip videos. Like, don't get me wrong, I have a lot planned like I have a whole playlist I'm planning that's basically giving people advice and inspiring other people but I don't want my channel to be the only place where people are like oh yeah I'm only coming to see the Ray Ray channel just for advice on this or just for advice on that rather than oh I'm actually I'm actually interested in her journey you know what I mean because the journey is the main reason why I'm starting the, like I started the channel so moving on to my top five highlights of this year the first thing obviously has to be me starting my master's I wanted to do masters for so many years so actually being able to start it and being on the course right now is amazing so um that's definitely a highlight another highlight i've got here is obviously me starting a job i missed having a structure and that's also another highlight of mine like having a structure again the job has given me so much structure along with the masters giving me so much structure and i feel like because i didn't have all that structure last year because obviously we we're on lockdown i feel like this year i've taken on like a lot more than i would usually take on 
so I can have that fulfillment of having a structure, if that makes sense. And no, don't worry, I'm not burning out. Some people are concerned about that. They're like, you're taking on a lot. And I'm like, yeah, but without a schedule, I, I find it very weird. Like, I like to do a lot. Um, so, yeah, I have that. Um, another highlight has to be, obviously, for my birthday, I got to touch penguins. I have a video of me doing that. And if you want to check that out, I will link it up in the cards below and down in the description as well. So that was awesome. As I mentioned, the having the structure again. And another one I would say is getting to see people I haven't seen after a long period of time. Obviously, not just due to like me moving for the masters, but also with the lockdowns and all that. I haven't been able to catch up with a lot of people that I would usually have caught up with on a regular basis. So it's been nice actually being able to see people or like even just texting more often and stuff like that. So yeah, those are my five highlights. The three words I would use to describe 2021 would be slow, full, and productive. So the reason I chose those three words is it's slow because some months really felt like they prolonged in comparison to other months. But I felt like October went by really quickly. I don't know if that was just me. I felt like October started and the next thing you know, it was Halloween. And then I was like, oh, hi Halloween, hi Bonfire Night. Like, you know what I mean? It just went do 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 really quickly whereas other months it was like okay and we're still here on the first week of this month like that's how some of the months felt in terms of um like being full obviously got the masters got the job doing the channel and just other things in life that i'm doing as well so that's why it's full productive in that sense as well as i just listed before so those things like the full and productive aspect are really good things for me slow aspect i'm like eh, eh, we'll see we'll see about that but in terms of my goals for 2022 i've set some simple goals my first big goal is to save save a lot of money like for life after university so like saving for mortgage for example or saving for a car or whatever just a lot of saving because you never know what's going to happen with this whole current situation we're in i don't want to be in a situation again where i have like me eating into my savings and then coming out not being comfortable. So like, I want to, if I have to eat into my savings, I want to be like, hey, I'm still fine. You know what I mean? And obviously coming to this point in my you know, studying career journey, whatever, after a while, you're no longer like eligible for student, uh, what's it called? The student banking and all that. So then obviously no overdraft. So I'm trying to avoid all of that stuff. So it's just like being independent, preparing you for life after uni type thing. So that's my main focus. Get good grades. I haven't received any grades back yet because I've only had it in one assignment and I'm assuming I'll get those grades in January. So good grades, obviously, because even though with this master's, I believe whatever grade you get, as long as you are able to, like you're eligible to apply with the HCPC to be a physio, that's all that really matters. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not trying to just scrape by I mean, if I scrape, I scrape, but I'm not trying to just scrape by, you know what I mean? So good grades, spending more time with friends. Those people, obviously, as I said, I hadn't seen, and I just want to spend more time with people. Obviously, it's a little hard with the type of degree I do, but spending time with people, making those memories, because everything's going to fly by. Time's flying by, and we're, <laughs> me and my friends are already feeling what it's like to be, like, an adult and trying to mix everybody's schedules together when people work full-time. It's a struggle. It's absolutely a struggle, but I want to try and spend more time with people. And in that sense, before more things in life get in the way. And another thing is I want to leave the country at least once. Like, I am willing to just take a tiny little trip to Calais, even just for a couple hours, and come back. Because then I will say I left the country. I, that's how badly I want to leave the country. I miss planes. Like, I mean, I don't have to fly to Calais, obviously. But, like, I miss planes so much. I just want to do some form of travelling because I feel like I'm just getting fed up. I'm just getting fed up with the same, same shiz all the time. Like, I need another country to check out. So, yeah. But I have some plans in motion for some travelling. Hopefully they don't get cancelled or interfered with due to the whole situation that we're currently in. And hopefully like that there will no longer be a situation when I reflect on the following year in the following year's video. But, yeah, that was just a quick video for you guys. I hope you guys also look forward to the new year and hope that we have, like, a better year than what we've had so far and in the past couple of years. And I'll see you guys in the new year for some new content. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.